bottleneck, bottleneck, bottleneck this. You're bottlenecking. So are you. We all are. Every single PC has a bottleneck in some way or another. And I think there's a few things I should let you guys know to hopefully clear the air with that super scary word. Even my extremely expensive PC has bottlenecks in certain applications. Just like your PC, no matter what the cost is, is going to have a bottleneck, no matter what you put inside of it. You should be bottlenecking. If you want to get all of the FPS you possibly can for specifically gaming, you should be GPU bottlenecked. Overall, this is going to be a very generic definition of bottlenecking, but basically your components are going to run as fast as the weakest link for specific applications. People seem to forget that you can build PCs for specific things. So if I'm going to be doing browser searching, stock markets, nothing GPU intensive, I can get a 13900K for that super fast performance, and I can get a GT1030. It's not going to affect me because I'm not gaming. I'm doing only CPU intensive tasks, and it's going to run those tasks pretty damn well. Now, if I wanted to do professional work like editing and rendering, I don't know the best configurations for those, so I'm not going to comment that much on it. It's pretty basic all around. Get off your bottleneck calculator and just do some hard research. I could even be wrong. You never know. And with how good parts are within the last five years, it's not going to affect you like you think it does, unless you're doing professional work. And yeah, if you're a little bit CPU bottlenecked and you're trying to edit render, it's going to be a little bit slower. Big deal. By what? A minute? Who cares? It's not affecting you, and it surely isn't affecting the person who did it because they did it. The best case scenario, if you want the best performance for gaming, which is what my target audience is for this video, is get a better CPU than your GPU, and you're going to get the best performance you possibly can out of your GPU. And if you have that configuration, you're going to be able to edit and render things a little bit faster than vice versa. It doesn't matter that much.